what we get for being with two testosterone-fueled alpha males. <laughs> at some point, they're bound to lock horns. I'm assuming these are some kind of horns they bought at Comic-Con. <laughs> You, Amy, your first bikini wax. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, how you doing? Oh, a little sensitive, but not bad. Does it always take that long? Uh, no, they don't usually have to go out and get more wax. I feel like I'm five pounds lighter. Really? Only five? Hey, anybody want a drink? Sure. Okay. So did you spend last night hearing about this silly parking space fight, too? For hours. Fortunately, I couldn't understand most of it because Sheldon was wearing that stupid robot mask. <laughs> Howard was so angry, I had to mash up Benadryl in his ice cream to get him to fall asleep. Guess this is what we get for being with two testosterone-fueled alpha males. <laughs> at some point, they're bound to lock horns. I'm assuming these are some kind of horns they bought at Comic-Con. <laughs> they took Sheldon's spot away. He shouldn't have to suffer just because Howard's such a big deal now. I know, Sheldon should just let Howard have his little moment in the sun. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I mean, Howard's never gonna go to space again, but Sheldon will always be a genius. <laughs> You're right. And I'm sure Sheldon will get a fancy parking spot again if and when he makes a worthwhile contribution to science. <laughs> if and when? Okay, I, maybe we should change the subject. Um, Amy, how are your lady parts? Still chilly down there? <laughs> well, hang on. Hey, none of Sheldon's theories have ever been definitively proven. My husband actually went to outer space. That's an impressive accomplishment. He's now an inspiration to millions of Americans who know you don't have to be special or even qualified to go into space. <laughs> you know, I remember the first time I got a bikini wax. My, my, my sister did it with melted Crayolas and duct tape. <laughs> It's a bad idea. Gosh, Amy, I'm sensing a little hostility. Is it maybe because, like Sheldon's work, your sex life is also theoretical? <laughs> Damn. Well, at least when we do make love, Sheldon won't be thinking about his mother. And yes, that is a cleverly veiled reference to Howard's lifelong obsession to crawl back into her spacious womb. Anyway, to this day, I still can't see a box of crayons without crossing my legs. I don't have to take this. I'm gonna go home and have sex with my husband right now. Maybe I'll let him do it to me in a parking spot. Mystery that all started with a big bang. Hey!